Now a while back, a major discovery rocked the internet, sending people into a strange state of thrill and in some cases wonder. Now I know I'm a little late to the party, but in some cases this is a little bit of a better circumstance, as now more information is out there and the original hype has settled down, we can finally discuss some of the more refined details. To start things off, this discovery actually stems back into 2014, when settings of the neighboring system's planet was first seen. However, it was not until this year that NASA and the Kepler telescope was finally able to confirm that this planet was more Earth-like than we believed. What makes the discovery even more interesting is the planet's residence in the Goldilocks zone, an area around a star in which it is theorized that liquid water has a better chance of pooling on the surface of a planet. The discovery of our cousin planet, now known as Kepler-186f, is actually not the first time we have spotted planets within the region around stars. Now the area in question does vary depending on the type and size of the given system star. What makes Kepler-186f stand out even more is the relative size to our Earth. Still remaining a bit larger, it is much closer in size however than other discovered planets, which could in some cases range up to 10 times the size of our own. Now despite having all these similarities to our own planets, experts have been trying to calm down all this hype behind what a lot of people's reactions seem to be, as a lot of people are dubbing this either a Earth-like planet or Earth from another system, which can't entirely be proven at the moment. There are so many variables that need to be taken into consideration. One thing that a few people are not adding into effect is the difference between the suns of these two systems. While the star in the Kepler-186 system where this new planet was discovered is a red dwarf or an M star, a star that is much smaller than our own but is a type of star that represents 70% of what is in the Milky Way galaxy. This type of star also makes it half the size of our own, creating a whole new environment for Kepler-186f to exist in. Another big thing that should be pointed out is that experts believe that the planet is primarily rocky, as there has yet to be any confirmation of water on the surface of this planet. So at the moment we cannot confirm a whole lot of information about Kepler-186f, we do know what type of star it orbits, where within the orbit it resides, and what the surface of the planet most likely seems to be. Other than that, we don't really know a whole lot more, so no, there is no indefinite proof that the planet could harbor life. As an example, Mars actually resides within the habitable zone, yet cannot really allow life to thrive on its surface. This also does not prove that this planet holds any alien life. It is just merely a new discovery, letting us know that our closest neighbor, Kepler-186, actually holds a planet so similar to our own Earth. Where things could go from here, we're just gonna have to wait and see. But until then, that is the end of today's discussion. If you guys would like me to talk about more topics similar to this, please let me know down in the comments below. Also, smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's discussion. I know it's a little bit late, but like stated a week or two ago in current videos, I'm currently back at school. I hope to get my regular schedule back, but it seems that it may or may not work. I will be posting small videos of some of my projects that I'm currently working on in my course. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy those. Uh, again, I hope you guys enjoy this video as well, and until then, stay spooky.